hey, how you doing, man? <clears throat> Everything I do is about you getting ahead in life, me getting ahead in life. We're on a journey to the top, baby. Uh, I feel like we're living in a world of retards constantly trying to pull you down, and I was right in there with them. You see the problem? I was eating it hook, line, and sinker, all their trash, dude, digesting it, living it to the fullest, baby. Fucking fucked up bullshit, dude. I, I just know. I just know. I just know. I just know. I just fucking know. That shit is not right. It's not real. I don't have to keep doing it. And I'm ready to fucking talk and move in the direction which I see is reality. I've always been this way. You know, I've always had a much bigger vision than most people. And I don't know what the vision was, but I know that I was always willing to execute it. I feel so lucky. I was told when I was a kid, and this is why I'm going to tell you this, guys. I was told when I was a kid, you can get rich in America, dude. You can climb the ladder and get to the top. You put in your hard work. You do. You, you prove your competence. Put in the effort. Put in the dedication. Put in the repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. You're going to make it to the top. And I did. I mean, I've been really fucking awesome. I feel great. I love being in business 29 years. I love being 46. I love being 46. Here's what I'm going to tell you about, about marriage as women. I feel like, I really believe I could have had it all, dude. I could have had multi, multi millions. And I could have my 20 some year old kids right now. And my wife. I could have. But these motherfuckers close the door on me, dude. And let me tell you about marriages too, what I see some people do, man. They just they just live some of these marriages just live in like monotone, dude. You know how like your workers come to work and they they fucking bust out their monotone day where they just put in the time, you know, people just put in the time in their relationship. You know, I don't just put in my time at work, dude. I make every day zesty. I make every day an opportunity to become better. I make it a day every day is a layer. It's like a tree, a layer bigger and bigger and better and better i like to amp it up i like to evolve i like to develop every fucking day that's what i do every day develop and get better you know i put up with my mistakes i put my t mistakes on the table i recognize my mistakes i analyze my mistakes and i uh i i i clearly look i clearly look at and i say hey that what i did i'm not doing it no more try something better I have a new idea I'm gonna sidestep you know I don't sit there and just fucking you know that's how I don't understand this terror with marriage man and then and then women seem to know intuitively that guys want love they want the pussy so they use it as an abusive tool you don't think women pull some shit dude of course they do and that's why I'm not playing that shit I spent I was going to the cell phone store today to buy a new phone I was watching all the people walk by because it was an hour and a half early. They opened at noon. I got there at 1030. I saw two couples. I saw one couple that I was like, damn, they are in tune. They don't abuse each other. They love each other. It's what I like. It's what I want. I saw one couple. I saw a second couple that I could tell was very close. And then I saw a bunch of uh, other people, single people. And the, the single people never look as happy. I don't. I don't think I'm excluded from shit, dude. I can have it all. I just. It's just inside of me, dude. It's inside of me. I want to let it out. I want. I want. I want to live it, dude. I want to be it. I want to have it. You know, Fourth of July taught me one last important lesson. Taught me. You know what, dude? I like to work, make money, you know, put in my time. But you know what, dude? I've been I've been so fucking single fucking directioned, you know, it's to the point to where, you know, no, 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 no. I'm not doing this no more, motherfucker. Here's a, see, it's, it's fucking faggots like this to ruin my fucking day. Here you go. Yeah, he's about uh, 10 miles away from you, partner. You should be there very soon. Tell me what time you will be here. Well, right I can tell you what time you'll be here. Actually, I just did, but unfortunately, you weren't capable of listening. That's why you don't know. Yeah, I just said that they're going to be there in a couple seconds. He already left. He'll be there in about 10 miles, okay? Okay. I'll wait. Okay. okay. See you there. Yeah, fucking faggot. See, I hate those motherfuckers, dude. Anyway, yeah, you know. Dude.
I just, I'm ready to start living balanced. I tell you one thing, when I'm 51, 52, that's it, motherfucker. I'm done. Fuck you. I'm not going to destroy my whole fucking life. I'm not. Enough is enough. You only get so much time. 50 fucking one. That's enough, dude. That's, you know, it takes time to do this shit, get this shit set up. And then you don't want to be all fucked up and crusty, dude. I just want to get what I fucking want. Okay? I already know what it is. These relationships, man. People got to go for I don't know why these motherfuckers don't fucking do this shit. I swear, maybe it's this fucking area, dude. But I can assure you, these motherfuckers are the stupid, man. These fucking people. I'm fucking tired of it, dude. So fucking tired of each and every motherfucker I meet. Not everybody. Like I said, I went to the mall. I saw one, two good couples. You know that? And that's what it told me. You know? I'm just tired of everybody else, man. And their stupid fucking shit. Most of all, my woman, dude. I feel, I regret having clung to her, man. You know, especially somebody who hates your guts. I would tell you as we close that when, a, it, that when and if a woman casts you away, tells you point blank, I don't fucking like you, even if she'll keep, then at that point you should just take your cue and leave, okay? Because the thing with her is she kept me around for decades. Gave me some great sex and all this other shit, acted like my best friend, but then simultaneously she was telling me to fuck off, you know? And, 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 I just wanted to live the dream. I wanted to believe. I wanted to have the juice, man. But now I know. I should have been like, hey, okay. Never, you know, I don't know. It just hurts. It hurts to say permanently goodbye to somebody. But that's what she wants. You know, so what? The longer you stay, the worse it gets. The quicker you leave, the less impact it's going to have, the less damage you're going to have. That's why people go crazy when they stick around each other, man. Too much, dude. It's sickness, sadness. That's one lesson in life I'll never fucking stop learning. It doesn't matter who I ever meet. There should always be an exit as a possibility. The death to his part was the worst shit ever invented. That's crazy. Death to your part, my ass. Fuck you, man. Man, I think I got a cold, dude.